Today's podcast is brought to you by Audible.com. Get a free audiobook download and a 30-day free trial at audibletrial.com slash Dan's Book Reviews. Dan Dan the Art Man's Book Reviews, Episode 68, Lost Stars by Claudia Gray. Lost Stars was a fantastic book. I love how much emotion was in it. That should be obvious because it's a young adult novel, Romeo and Juliet Space Adventure, but this book surprised me with how much awesome, strong emotions it had in it. The characters go through a lot, and I really felt what they were feeling as I read the book. It was amazing. I loved how the intimate story of the two main characters weaved through huge story moments in the original Star Wars trilogy. Even doing things that you see the effects of in Episode 7, The Force Awakens. You get to see big parts of Episode 4, 5, and 6 through different perspectives, and that was really fun. Some of the huge story events that happen in those movies have enormous effects on the characters, both emotionally and on their careers. I loved getting to experience a great new story with awesome new characters I had come to love that also intersected with a story I've known and loved for years. Sometimes this book goes into more detail than the original trilogy, explaining the thinking and reasoning behind why things happened the way they did, and I can't help but think the next time I watch the original trilogy, it will be enriched from my reading of this book, and that is so rad. The first time Sienna Ree, one of the main characters, met Darth Vader, the way she described him made him seem so creepy and powerful. It was really fun to see the iconic character through her eyes. It gave me more respect for Darth Vader in a weird way and made him seem scarier and more powerful, even though I know him well. That was cool. The story starts on a small backwater planet of Jelucan, and Grey did an amazing job with the world building there. It felt so lived in, with its own rich history and the two societies who didn't get along with the newer Second Wavers and the older natives called the Valley Kindred. From these two very different cultures, two friends meet, and their story grows from there. I loved the character growth of the two main characters, Thane Kyrell, the aristocratic Second Waver, and Sienna Ree, the rural villager. They became so much more as they rise in power and position through the ranks of the Empire and more. Their story was really touching, thrilling, and fun to read. You get to see them go from backwater kids with huge dreams to important people in the universe right there at the heart of many of the major conflicts. The way I got to experience these kids grow up was really special and made for a really enjoyable reading experience. The last act of the book was really amazing. There was so much built-up emotion and so much intense action that it made for one heck of a story climax. It was fantastic. I can't recommend this book enough for Star Wars fans. Awesome. Well, I've got great news for you guys, the listeners of this podcast, because you can get a free audiobook. If you go to audibletrial.com slash Dan's Book Reviews, you get a free 30-day trial of Audible's awesome service and a free audiobook. Now, you can get any audiobook of your choice, and if there's a book you want, I'm sure they have it. But this week, I am highly recommending Star Wars Lost Stars by Claudia Gray, and it's narrated by Pierce Cravens, who did an amazing job. He has a great, like, youthful voice, and that just communicated the voice of the characters so well, and he's also an excellent narrator, so the story came across gorgeously as he narrated it, and it was a fantastic listen. 
Uh, as with most Star Wars audiobooks, you also get the added bonus of amazing production quality with added background music that's official Star Wars music and awesome sound effects. It was just a really enjoyable listen, so I highly recommend it. Lost Stars by Claudia Gray, narrated by Pierce Cravens. Excellently narrated, and you can get it for free or any other audiobook of your choice at audibletrial.com slash Dan's Book Reviews. Now, let's get back to that review. Yeah, so uh, one of my cool co-workers who always brings to my attention cool new books that are coming out or whatever, he told me about this, and I think he had started reading it or already finished it and said it was really good, and I honestly probably wouldn't have checked it out without his recommendation, so... Thank you, Steven. This is a shout-out to Steven. He's my buddy and my co-worker, and um, he's also an awesome, avid moviegoer. And you can find his movie reviews at hipsterpopgeek.blogspot.com. And uh, he's also the guy who told me that The Martian was on sale. You could get the ebook and the audiobook together for like 4 or $6. So anyway, really love it when Steven recommends books to me. And you should go check out his movie reviews. But I really was blown away by this book, Lost Stars. And Claudia Gray has written another one in the Star Wars universe. So you should go check out Lost Stars and her other books. She has a very genuine, heartfelt narrative. And just really brings the characters to life. And just when an author can do that, you're in for a really great story. I'm just a sucker for coming-of-age stories. When you get two characters coming of age and going from these backwater kids into these important people in the universe uh, working for the Empire and other careers, no spoilers. It's just fantastic to see them grow and change, and Claudia Gray did a great job of handling the Star Wars universe also. So she brings her excellent, like, heartfelt, wonderful, warm, young adult storytelling with great strong emotions and just realistic deep characters that you care about and feel for and then you get that in an awesome authentic Star Wars universe that's totally believable Um, I never felt like she shoehorned her story into the Star Wars universe I just totally felt like I was in the Star Wars universe but getting to see like a more richly detailed different perspective of it which was really cool So I really highly recommend this book. There are tons of new Star Wars books coming out because all of the books that were out before Disney bought Star Wars are now not really considered canon, or at least not most of them. I think they're called the EU books. So now they're just coming out with tons and tons of new books that are canon. And if you're not sure where to start, start with Lost Stars by Claudia Gray because It is a fantastic book, and I know you're really going to enjoy it. Even if you're not really a young adult reader, or even if you are a young adult reader but not really a Star Wars reader, check it out. Because, like, even for me, I am a huge fan of the Star Wars movies, but I haven't read a whole lot of the books. I've read quite a few and really enjoyed them, but if you kind of want to dip your toes into the Star Wars literature universe, you should really check out Lost Stars. It's fantastically written. I loved it. Can't say enough about it. And that's all I've got for you guys this week. So I hope you're having a great uh, capping off the end of your summer, finishing up the stack of summer reading that you had set out for yourself. And good luck with starting school or your kids starting school with the fall coming here. And as always, happy reading. And we'll see you next time. Mike, take it away. This podcast is licensed under a Creative Commons attribution, non-commercial, no derivative works license. Music by Kevin McLeod, found at incompetech.com. The website that goes with this podcast can be found at dandantheartman.com. And you can follow Dan on Twitter, Google+, and Facebook at dandantheartman. For Dan, this is Mike Luoma, saying happy reading. And we'll see you next time.